A new space optics company based in the Rochester area is launching later this summer. Steris Optimax Space Systems is one of the first in the world to offer customer modules of optics hardware for space imaging. Business and development reporter Dan Gross caught up with the director to get the inside scoop. So Dan, this seems like a unique business model to be sure. Hey Adam, not only is it a unique service and business model, but it comes with a pretty incredible time frame. They tell me if a company wants to launch an imaging satellite, Stara says they can help them go from idea to orbit in a year. But this high in the clouds business promises to help our economy on the ground too. Optimax has been a premier precision optics company for three decades, but the Ontario-based company looks to be now at the forefront of the space economy race, which they tell me is growing at light speed, and imaging is key to that economy. This summer, Staris Optimax Space Systems will launch. Director of that company, physicist Kevin Kearney, saying... We decided uh, there was a need in the market for someone to offer these rapid... Uh, satellite imaging system payload development services. That payload from Optimax can include everything from optics, sensors, electronics, digital cameras, and more. So if you're a company that needs imaging, whether it's for Earth observation, space infrastructure, defense, or even mining on the moon, Staris can custom package it, including hardware that is space tested by Optimax. Even more incredibly, Kearney says Staris can go from idea to orbit in a year. But back on Earth, 1 in 12 households in our area alone are supported by optics. That's according to NextCore. So Kearney says that Staris can mean a lot to the Rochester area too, and the state. This is a big win for our community. Optimax itself is a great community member. Um, our whole company is founded on a, on a principle and a, and a trust structure to maintain employment. Uh, this is a growth opportunity. Uh, there's quite a few partnerships we're already engaged in in the region, in the photonics cluster region, if you will. And um, it, it, this should do nothing but add to the region. The former, albeit metaphorical, launch of Staris is set for August 5th at the Small Satellite Convention in Utah. Reporting the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.